Waiting on God, Day 5, for instruction. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Psalm 25, verses 4 and 5. I spoke of an army on the point of entering enemy territory, answering the question as to the cause of delay, waiting for supplies. The answer might also have been waiting for instructions or waiting for orders. If the last dispatch had not given the final orders of the commander in chief, the army dared not move. This is also true in the Christian life. As great as the need of waiting for supplies is that of waiting for instructions. See how beautifully this comes out in Psalm 25. The writer loved God's law above all else, and so he studied that law both day and night. But he came to realize that even this devotion to the law was not enough. For the right spiritual understanding of the truth and for the right personal application of it to his own peculiar circumstances, he needed direct divine teaching. This particular psalm is a favorite one of many people, perhaps because it expresses our deep longing for divine guidance, along with the childlike confidence that guidance would be given. Study the psalm until your heart is filled with two thoughts, the absolute need and the absolute certainty of divine guidance. Then notice how it is within this connection that he speaks. On you, I wait all the day, waiting for guidance, waiting for instruction all the day is a very blessed part of waiting upon God. The Father in heaven is so interested in his children and so longs to keep their every step within his will and his love that he is willing to guide them entirely by his own hand. God knows that we are unable to do what is truly holy and heavenly without his help. God's demands actually become the promises of what he would do in watching over and leading us all day long. It is not only in times of difficulty and perplexity, but also in the common course of everyday life that we may count on God to teach us his way and to show us his path. What do we need to do to receive this guidance? One thing, wait for instructions, wait on God. On you I wait all the day. In our times of prayer, we will want to clearly express our sense of need and our faith in God's promise to help. We will want to admit our ignorance of what God's way may be and our need for divine light to shine within us. Only then will our way become like the sun, which shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Proverbs 4, 18. And we want to wait quietly before God in prayer until a deep, restful assurance fills us. As the psalm also says, the humble he teaches his way. Psalm 25, 9. The special surrender to divine guidance in our times of prayer should cultivate the habit of looking upwards all the day. Consider how simple it is to walk all the day in the light of the sun. It could become just as simple and delightful to a soul practiced in waiting on God to walk all the day in the enjoyment of God's light and leading. What is needed to live such a life is this, a real knowledge of God as the only source of wisdom and goodness, and a faith in God as ever ready and longing 
to give us all that we could possibly need. If only we could see our God in his love. If only we could believe that he longs to be gracious, that he waits to be our life and to work his good in us. Then this waiting on God would become our highest joy. The natural and spontaneous response of our hearts to his great love and glory. Oh God, teach us above everything else the blessed lesson that all the day and every moment of it you surround us doing your work of love. Remind us that you only ask of us to wait on God. Help us to say, on you I wait all the day. My soul wait only on God.